Hi guys, I'm back again with another video, and this one is an interesting topic. Um, I thought of this way back when, but I didn't know how to put it to words, and now, well I should say these days, since we have a lot of fat shaming and body shaming, which I definitely want to make a video on that as far as the the difference between fat shaming, body shaming, and stuff like that. I feel like people use these terms very freely um, now, and it doesn't pertain to fat or body shaming. When they get offended, <laughs> when someone calls them out maybe on an outfit that they're wearing that's inappropriate, or um, maybe something that just doesn't look good on them, they automatically take it to body shaming or fat shaming, or if something is said about them that may be a little bit out of context, they they throw fat shaming and body shaming. Two different topics. And um, I think some people get offended and it's just taken out of context. Not everybody's fat shaming and body shaming. So I would definitely make a video on that later. But I wanted to talk in this video about owning your fat. So... This is not for the women or men that are 10, 20, 30 pounds overweight, or if people call you fat. Um, it can be for you in a sense, but I'm talking about for people that are overweight. Um, I felt like this topic was important because I had an issue with the word fat. Some people are... Um, they don't like the term. And to be honest with you, up until probably the other day, I didn't like it. Fat. Sounds so derogatory. And let's just be honest, in society, if someone calls you fat, I think it's worse than being dumb. A lot of people rather be dumb or deemed ugly than fat. And it's crazy, but in your mind, or even in my mind, someone calling you fat is like, oh my God. That is the worst thing. But I was really thinking about this, and I came to this, let's say, Oprah moment or light bulb moment when I was brushing my teeth and just thinking about the day and the rest of the evening. Um, it came the other day. I was crossing the street of where I work at the mall that I work, and these guys stopped. Now, they had to stop because it was a pedestrian walk. People hate stopping. I live in New Jersey. People are always impatient. I'm right next to New York, so you can imagine our attitudes. We don't stop for nothing. So they had to stop, and I just crossed the street because it's a pedestrian walk. The lights are flashing, and people are supposed to stop. It's the law. So they were forced to stop, and then they were trying to be stupid and make jokes. They didn't call me fat, but... <laughs> They started saying, and I'm laughing because this is so funny. They started going, ew, ugh. And I'm just like, no, I'm not ew or uh. But they had nothing else to say and they had nothing better to say. I was actually waiting for them to be stupid or curse me out or call me, you know, like, you know how guys are. The really immature, rude ones. They'll curse you out. They'll call you those bad words or probably even fat because the term fat is thrown around for anybody that's how it is so fat is supposed to be the worst thing in the world but they didn't and I was surprised then I thought about it and I obviously wasn't offended by it I found it funny because you have to stop for me I'm crossing the street like how dare you don't get upset because this is law I'm a pedestrian but I just found it funny that they had to re make a remark and be stupid. But in other instances, and pretty sure we've all been through it, um, men and women, sometimes people throw around the word fat. But is fat really a bad word? And I'm thinking, you know what? What if they did call me fat? Is that like the worst thing to be? I'm not a bad person. At least I like to think I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. I can be moody sometimes. Oh, I get a little irritated easily, but it takes a while for me to get angry. I have to say I have a, a high tolerance. Like I'll deal with, I'm that type of person that'll deal with you and keep giving you a chance if, until you don't give me a reason to give you any more chances. I'm loving a lot of people 
call me by my call me a nickname. They'll call me Sunshine. Um, I have a passion for life. I'm not perfect, but um, I try to be optimistic when I can, and sometimes I can be negative. But I think I'm an overall good person. So why would the term fat affect me? So you call me fat, it doesn't change anything. In all honesty, you want to know what fat means. Fat, in fact, is just a word. It's an adjective. And we hear it all the time, but what's the exact meaning? Of a person or animal having large amount of excessive flesh. <laughs> they use the term, the driver was a fat, wheezing man. But the synonyms are plump, stout, it can be overweight, large, chubby, portly, flabby, paunchy, pot-bellied, beer-bellied, meaty, or ample. But does that sound really bad? A person having large amount of excess flesh. It just sounds like a description. It's just an adjective. So my point being for this video is if someone wants to call you that, yeah, I'm not skinny. Yeah, I'm a little bigger. And so what? I felt like I came to that point where I was like, if even if they called me fat, it just wouldn't have mattered. Like, I don't care. I just told you a whole bunch of stuff about me, and it doesn't make me any different of a person. And I say this because I feel like we should all make this effort. This has been something that's been a little harder for me to, to come out and say, and I'm being really honest, but I really had difficulty with the term fat, and I finally said, you know what, I'm not a bad person. That adjective doesn't define me as a whole. This description of myself and who I am and my soul has nothing to do with me being a bigger girl. And there'll be women smaller than me, there'll be women bigger than me, and it doesn't matter because that word doesn't define your soul and what I have to say is don't let people take that word and use it against you like it's a bad thing own your fat I'm fat say I am fat I'm a bigger girl and yes I am and what you don't know me so that's my thing that I want to get out there you don't know me. Get some time to get to know me before you judge me. And that's my response to people that might have something to say about my appearance. And yes, some of you may say, well, you might not go through it. I do go through it. I do go through it like anybody else, trust me. Um, people can be really vindictive. They can be really rude. And um, it can be really mean. So it really doesn't matter what you look like or how big you are, or you small you are. I may not be the biggest girl and I'm not the smallest girl. But people are rude like that. So if you're going through anything like that, that's my statement to you. Yes, I'm fat. You tell them, yes, I am fat. So what? And your point being, don't let words like that hurt you. Because I feel like society nowadays uses fat like it's the worst thing in the world. But there are a lot of people in this world that are miserable. They can't look without, within themselves and see that material things do not bring happiness. They need to work on their soul. And if they're saying rude, vindictive, malicious things to you, trust me, fat is not the worst thing that you can be. They're obviously upset within themselves and they're horrible human beings for even projecting that kind of attitude on somebody else and trying to make them feel bad. So if fat is the worst thing that you can be, congratulations. You're a lot better than that person that's fat shaming you. So I don't know if this all made sense. I just kind of like went off of my brain and what I was feeling. But please, please, please let me know what you think in the comments. I love reading your comments. I love hearing your opinions. As I said, good and bad. <laughs> but I love hearing from you guys. I have some great subscribers. I have really intelligent, awesome subscribers. I love hearing feedback. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I'll talk to you guys soon.